What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel everybody. Still trying to get my sea legs. Um, today we're going to be doing a little catch and cook on a largemouth bass. Typically don't do that kind of stuff. Don't really eat bass, but right here that's a uh, beautiful pond. It's pretty much overpopulated with largemouth bass. So today we're going to catch a few and then we're going to try to cook a couple. So stay tuned. We're going to rip some lips and uh, fry up some fish. Yeah. Oh God, we're down wind. There's one. Coming in hot, man. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Should I slam this thing or what? Oh yeah. All right, brother, back her up. There's a daggum claw. Another large mouth. There's one. That's a fish right there. Good job. First one on the trench hog. Solid. There's one. Oh, I love setting the hook into these beasts. Yeah. There we go. So wait. just like that that's the last fillet got to cut the ribs out still but all the fish are cut up for the most part thank god now on to a little bit of a largemouth catch and cook all righty it is officially time to do a little bit of cooking we got some bass back there we got four fillets of bass i don't know if we're gonna eat them all or not but we're gonna try these bass out and see how they taste so great day on the water, a lot of fish. We caught a ton of bass, probably like 75, honestly. We kept like 20-ish. Uh, there were four of us fishing, so we're legal. But good time out there, caught a lot of fish. So let's get into some cooking. First thing, we got our four fillets here. These things have been marinating in salt for a little bit just to get anything bad out of them. They're, they're fresh as can be. So I don't really like huge fillets, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these in half. Uh, they're completely deboned, de-ribbed and the smaller pieces just make it a little bit easier to fry you want to clean them up get any extra scales any extra crap off there and then they should be ready to go kind of equal sizes too they just cook better that way and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to dredge these in some frank's red hot kind of like your egg or your milk mixture and then go straight into the flour then and then it's hot oil today we're going to be frying them but jared's got a little bit of a kick today that he wants to talk about so a little frank's red hot action fillet straight in there you might think goodness this these things are going to be insanely hot but really it's it's not hot i found that uh, with fish the frank's red hot kind of just goes away quickly and um, 
the seasoning doesn't really stick like it cooks out so it's not super super hot but it makes an excellent batter i'd say it's almost better than an egg and it makes your flour mixture much easier to stick on there so now we're going to take this out and into the flour but before we do the flour jared wants to put some spicy danos dan good right here spicy danos dan good we're going to mix a little bit of that I mean, we're pretty hefty on it. Get our trigger finger ready on it. Put that in there like that. Spicy Danos. Add that shit to it. Then we're gonna mix it around a little bit. That spicy Danos on every single one of the pieces of filet that we have. That way it mixes in real good. Get a little bit on the tender side. Add it into it. Then we're gonna add it into the flour. And then when we add it into the flour, we're gonna pre-mix some of the regular Danos in the flour as well. So you just get a lot more of that flavor of the Danos in the meat, etc. So after you have the spicy Danos and a little bit of the red hot mixture with the meat itself, you wanna add a little bit of the Danos, the original seasoning, Dan Good. We're gonna add just a little bit of our trigger finger in on that too. Get that in there like that. We'll shut the Ziploc with a little bit of flour in there. That way it makes a nice, you know, base for everything. Mix it up in there. So now you have the you have the original Danos. We have the spicy Danos on top of the fresh catch uh, bass from today. So we'll throw at least each one of these in here. Probably do about three at a time, maybe. No, go ahead and do them all. We're gonna go ahead and do them all, honestly. With the red hot, it it, it doesn't really matter. It sticks so well. We're gonna do a little bit of that. I'm gonna grab the side of the bowl here too, just. So I can get as much of that nice red hot flavor as well as the spicy Danos. The original Danos is already in the mix, so that is just add, adds more flavor, honestly. I mean, the flavor kick is just unbelievable on this Danos. We're gonna get a little bit of the air in there, get it all shut up. That way it's easy to really fluff and, and get a lot of that seasoning and everything just completely compact in the meat itself. I mean, you want as much of a flavorful batch as you can and having the red hot having that spicy danos the original danos already in the flour just really makes a nice compact for your base gordon ramsay who'd have thunked see you got your the bag the bag being with air and stuff in it makes it really easy to nice and mix everything up yeah so. yeah it does and you can actually use this leftover stuff for some steaks or anything you're trying to make all right, so we're gonna throw our first one on here. Try to get like three in there. See how it matches out. We got one on, a little bit of a splat, no big deal. Two on. That smells dynamite. And the third one coming in hot. Boom. That is not gonna take too long at all because that oil's flaming. I'm gonna give her the old flip -a -rooski. Honestly, that thing looks like it's almost done. It just sticks so good, the Red Hot does. You got a timer on your phone just so we kind of got a rough idea. I'll try to do like five minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes. Turn the golden brown now. We'll pull those off, a little flaky, perfect. Gonna lay those down, let the grease drain off of them for a second. And then once we get these guys off, we're going to put in the next round. Little taste test, see how the bass are and uh, how they taste. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. We're just gonna give these one last little shake, make sure that's good and coated. Looks like they're pretty good and coated already, but. And then my handy assistant's gonna take the lid off. Look at that, that is beautiful. <laughs> little flour, little Danos, little Frank's Red Hot. Gonna give her a hard dangle. I'm pretty fired up about this fish. Alrighty. We're gonna go ahead and dig into one of these. That is flaming hot. Probably recommend letting it sit a little longer, but I'm pretty excited to try this. I haven't had a bass in quite some time. It's probably been a few years. We typically go to this pond like twice a year and we usually just take bluegas out of there and we'll catch bass for fun, but we're gonna try it. Very flaky, that's how you know it's done. Usually if they're floating, you know it's done, but when you're in a shallow pan, it's kinda hard, but also the flakiness, so. Definitely very, very hot, so let's try it. That's fire, man. That's pretty good. Danos. It's real hot. Danos, pretty good. 
you can, it's it's really good. It's seasoned really well. If it was just flour, it wouldn't be as good. Mostly because that Frank's Red Hot you don't really taste. You can taste a lot of the seasonings from like the Danos, especially the spicy one. It's kind of coming through a little bit more. All right, round number two. Honestly, that bass is very, very good. So I'm excited to see what you think. Dang. It is, is pretty good. That is very good. That is very, very good. The flowers, the, the perfect crust for it. The Frank's Red Hot makes a nice, smooth, crisp flavor throughout the rest. The Danos, Danos seasoning, man. Everything better. One of the keys, too, to cooking this fish is you've got to have that uh, oil flaming hot. I've made the mistake before where that oil is not hot enough, and if that oil isn't hot enough, it's just not going to do it for the fish. You're going to get uh, kind of an oily taste, and it just kind of absorbs too much oil. So definitely want to make sure that you get that oil flaming hot. So we're going to get back to eating. You heard it here first. Try Danos. I've never had it before, but he swears by it, so I we're giving it Danos. a try. We're giving it a try. But Danos on the fresh ca catch and cook. Probably the first catch and cook Danos has ever been on. It's pretty new stuff. Go check them out. Anyways, guys, we're going to chow down on a little more bass. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Largemouth bass. Who'd have thought it was pretty good? A lot of people think I'm probably crazy for eating it. Tastes fine to me. But I want to say thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, and we will catch you on the next Catch, Clean, and Cook. Peace, y'all.